morning, hope you're okay. Welcome to the video. My name's Jane. If you're new to the channel, warm welcome. And if you're not new, thanks so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. We're on Monday morning and I'm trying to video this before I start work at night. Um, it's a tea room haul that I've had delivered over a week ago now. So I thought I best get on with sharing it with you because it's been sat there. I've not even opened the parcel yet. So let's just have a look together what's in the package. Hope everybody's alright. Hope you've had a nice weekend. I can't even remember some of the stuff that I ordered to be honest. So, what is this? First thing I ordered is this. It's not many of them girls. I don't know what it is. It's got love hearts all over it, sweet love. Let me see. Did you ever do that? Did you order something and you think, oh, can't remember. <laughs> oh, I do know what it is. But I didn't expect that kind of packaging. This is my Halloween autumn mug. Um, it's not as nice as it looked on the actual, the, uh, the site. I expected it to be a nicer colour. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a leopard print kind of Halloween mug. I think that was seven pounds something, which is expensive for a mug. I expected it to be a bit nicer than that, but the mug's a mug, isn't it? So that's the first item. Next up, we have got this. <laughs> Again, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and the packaging doesn't really give anything away, does it? Let's be fair. Oh, we're doing all now. No, I won't give it. Pro sunglasses. I wanted to add a bit of interest to my face <laughs> instead of looking very plain. <laughs> so, I've been looking at, I love looking at people with these glasses on that's got a bit of, you know, a bit of colour and stuff like that. So I thought, oh, I don't think they're sunglasses. They might be because they're dark, but I'm sure they just said like clear glass or, you know. But yeah, what do you think? I like them. They've got a bit of like leopard print. They're sort of brown with a bit of leopard print on the side. And these are just a couple of pounds each. And I thought, do you know what? I'll try and see if I can make myself look a little bit more interesting. <laughs> oh dear. So that is that. There is some crafty bits in here as well. You do get a little thing to keep them or to clean them with. And it's nice that they come in a box because they could have been damaged otherwise. The next thing I got is yes, this is one thing that I really wanted. It's a jewellery holder display. Um We've got so many necklaces. I buy lots of costume jewellery, like inexpensive stuff. And if you've just got it all in some kind of box or you know, you don't really reach for them as much as if you they're on display and you can see which ones you want to put with your outfit. So that was my thoughts when I saw this. So I could maybe hang it inside the wardrobe if it'll fit. If not, I'll have to find somewhere else to hang it. Sorry for the rustling. That's quite the morning, isn't it? And the fabric itself? Wow. It's one of these ones. Oh no, you don't have to do it yourself. What you have to <laughs> I have to do it yourself. Uh, starting to panic. So that is the um it's a bit macrame, isn't it? And then you've got the gold hooks that you just slot into these holes and which holds all of your necklaces and stuff, which I think is a good idea. There's your little hooks. I'm hoping it fits in the wardrobe on a little hook and then I can just open the wardrobe door and pick a necklace to go with whatever outfit I've got. That was my thoughts. So I will try to do that after. I'm like a magpie. Every time I go somewhere, I'm bad for looking on vintage as well. Maybe I'm, I'm never sat there bored. I might put the like open vintage to see what's coming up on things recommended for you. Well, it's always either jewellery or some kind of clothing for me. The next M&S, 
or I like the white stuff. Lots of my favourites. I've got some slippers. It's getting a little bit chilly now. I usually wear just like summery sandals, but I thought I'd get these ones if you have any different colours. It's a little bit bent. <laughs> Probably just from being packaged, but I'm sure that'll soon straighten out. Um, yeah, I got them. Like I said, they had lots of different colours in these ones. Um, next up is some washi tape. Oh, it's got like, I do love a crafty bit of stuff. <laughs> and this one has got like, I don't know if you can see that, it's got like autumn kind of looking girls on it. You might not be able to see that, but so. But yeah, I do love crafting. And they sell really inexpensive stuff for crafting. This one is a pair of earrings, like I said. Just have my card. That was this. These was only about two pound, I think. And they're a pair of earrings. Oops, they come with some little backs. It's not really um I don't want to shepherd put some just a gold colour. Um, I'll, show you that. I'll show you one of them. It's like a navy blue with moon and sun. And a little bit in the sun, it's like a little gem. A little gem, they're really cute. I mean, one of them. There's lots of goodies in here. Next up is a little autumn sign. I did order some autumn bits for my house. I expected this to be a little bit bigger, but it's a nice one. It could go in my bedroom because I do a little tray with stuff on in my bedroom. And it's got pumpkin spice, falling leaves, like the weather. So I could put that. I'll just leave it there. Um, next up is some more washi tape, of course. Um, and they're all like floral kind of autumn designs in there. I'll bring them a bit closer so you might get a closer look at them. I think they was about five pounds and you get so many rolls. I won't count them, but I'll bear you. Um, next up I got this. I think it's a bag to wash stuff in the washing machine. You know, because if you're washing delicates, they sometimes get a bit snagged. So Oh, I thought it was a small one. Oh, you get a packet of a few. You get this one, you get a bigger one, and you get a bigger one. <laughs> so you can put your stuff in and not be worried about them getting you know, caught in the little holes and be done. I've had that happen to me a few times, you know, you've either put a really nice top in, you know, one that's a little bit, you know, a bit on the delicate side, and then it's come out and there's a little, been a little snag in the material. So annoying. Or sometimes like nice underwear that you put in and it's a little bit, you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> I got this, which is a code for Mum, you'll always be my bestie. But I expected it to be a little bit more shiny and like varnished or something. This one's just plain wood, but I thought it was about 70p, so I can't bumble on it. <laughs> I'll give that to my mum when I see her. I got this, which is a stamp for crafting. And yeah, we all know I love to craft. And this is just a bubble kind of dot looking stamp. I got some uh, parts for when I'm making some, some jewellery. And it's a pack of eight or ten, I think. So, 10 pieces and there's some silvery hearts. Mm -hmm. See the quality of these because I was a bit dubious about them. Mm, yeah, they do actually really nice. And I think they go lovely on a pair of earrings. Nice, mm, see, nice heart design. So, yeah, I'm going to try and make something with them a bit after. Next, I've got this. Oh, it's another pair of glasses. I was getting a bit carried away on the glasses side. I had a, quite a few numbers of pairs of glasses in my basket, but I had to narrow it down, so these ones come in a little box, which is really nice. They're nicely wrapped, seeing as they're so cheap. 
I expected them to just be like in some kind of plastic and what have you. So then they're like um what do you want to call them? See through but on the beige side. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they're sunglasses or just clear glass. I don't know, but I just thought they might look a bit different for a change. What do you reckon? Again, just about two or three pound. Can't really go and book, and if you don't like them, you've not really lost a lot. Put them back in there. like to put things back how I found them because if I don't it just starts winding me up. The case isn't amazing because it doesn't show up very well but you know cheap as chips what do you expect? lots of different I've chose pink but you can choose there's different colours to choose from and yeah I was going to go with the natural colour they've got all this kind of paper so you can make different kind of collages with it and this was the pink collection and you've got just your normal pink paper as well and that'll come in handy for when I'm like Cutting and stitching and in my own little world. <laughs> I do like the soft chips as well. It's, it's the obvious choice to be fair. Do you like a bit of this chip? I won't put that back now because I'll be there all day trying to get it back in. Got some more stamps. <laughs> more stamps. Which are flowers. And we've got Hello Sunshine and Smile. Which is nice if you make your own greeting cards or whatever. Might try to do that. Just an idea. This looks a bit squashed, whatever this is. Excuse me. Oh, I did buy more glasses. I don't know why. I thought I took some out of my basket. Maybe I didn't. Oh, they've got purple. Let's get rid of the purple. Ooh, what shape? If I don't know, I can't see myself. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they're clear glass in them ones, so I'm assuming that they are just clear glass and not sunglasses. Again, you get some kind of little cloth to wipe them with, which is nice. I like to have sunglasses in the car because sometimes in the winter, you know, when the sun's out, oh my word, it's blinding. You can't see a damn thing. I did some little face uh, wipe things, you know, for when you're taking your makeup off or doing your skincare. Really nice and soft and them bags I thought the smallest one was going to be good enough to put a whole load of these in once I've used them and throw them all in the washer at the same time but I think them bags are a little bit too big for that but maybe the smallest one might be all right so this is um, I think this one says it's very undersized it says bamboo fibre but I'm sure they're not bamboo Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I thought it was eight or ten, but it's ten. And again, you could get all different colours, but I just thought purple would be nice. We have got some paper clips in an antique bronze colour. Again, for my crafting. I don't know where I'm going to put all this crafting stuff. I keep telling the hubby that I need a little crafty shed. It's really small, but if you want to stick little bits to the side of your journals, they're ideal. I think there was about 50p, so. You know, that one bit. Again, what's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little tool for poking a hole in your glue stick when it, you know, if you've got a glue with like a very fine nozzle, like one I had the other day, I couldn't get in it. It's one of them because I'm sometimes rooting around for a needle to pop a hole into the glue. And we have this little device to poke a hole, which will come in handy for many things, I would think. And I don't know what them bits are in there. What's that? Looks like they could be glue bottle lids. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. What's it 
cold on the packet. Nothing. <laughs> it's not called nothing. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sure that's what they're for, glue bottles. There's one more gone there. Next up we have got some face cloths. I think I went mad on the face cleaning. But these look super soft. I wanted proper muslin cloths. Mm, I don't know what these are, but they look alright. 100% cotton, which are nice. They're nice and soft. They've got a bit of stretch, a bit of crinkliness. They're really nice. Three, three, four, five, five white cloths. So again, I can just keep using them and washing them. I do love skincare. It's I love skincare more than makeup. Skincare, so we've got a stencil which is just old. You know, for making a pattern on your tackiness before you do anything else. These are really cheap. These you get these for like one pound fifty or something. Really. I've got this. What else have I got? I've got some more stencils, which are these patterns just to add interest to my tackiness. Lines, swirls. I got some coasters for my living room because I, have, I don't like when I drink down without a coaster underneath me and I just thought I desperately needed some and I think there's four I'm sure there was a pack of four but they might have come in two different packs no they're not they're just slim ones so they're like um a bit like celestial ones my kind of thing a bit you know oh this one's pretty this one can be mine it's like made of perspex I think and that's the last one. It's like moon and star kind of ones. They're really nice. I thought they was going to be thicker, but they're all off. I don't know. Are they really? Are you holding a drink? I next up got this pumpkin thing to hang in my house. I'm going to put this in the porch for when it's Halloween or autumn. I've not done my decorate for autumn yet. I need to get, get a move on. Need to get in the loft this week and then, um, oh yeah, they give you the string to hang this up with. So you just hang this 3D with the holes. Yeah, I need to crack on with that because they keep saying to Andrew, I need to go in the loft and get the um, stuff out for Halloween. I haven't done it. So that's what it looks like. And then there's, there's the thing you fill up your uh, protective film so it's like shiny when you took the film off it. But that's quite nice so you can see the sun shining through. I thought that was pretty. I have placed another Timu order since this arrived because there was a sweatshirt that I liked because when I'm working at home I just put a sweatshirt on and yeah, I'm like now I'm going to start working in a minute. I got this stencil, wow, the bigger than I expected. <laughs> I expected small ones, but the little people when you just put your own details in. Oh, there's more, there's more. There's some more crafty... Um, some little bows for charms, you know, for making bracelets or earrings. So just get one out. I need to keep an eye on the time. I don't know what time it is. Maybe I should have started work by now. Little bows. They'd be nice on some nice sparkly little earrings with some gems above them, I think. I've got visions. And again, there's ten in them. Oops, everything's sliding. There's only a couple of bits. There's some acrylic blocks. To put my rubber stamps on to do the stamping again should have looked at the sizes because they're very very small and that's the biggest there's three that's the biggest one which is not many <laughs> anyway they will come in handy for something what else is in the bag oh yeah i got mushrooms <laughs> charms <laughs> In case anybody wants some something making with some mushrooms on for autumn. If you would like a pair of earrings or a bracelet making with a mushroom on, toad stool, whatever you want to call that, they're very pretty. Just leave me a comment. I'll be more than willing. <laughs> leave me a choice of gem or colour. This is the last thing. I haven't got a pair of scissors handy, but we will see how we can get in. I don't know what this is because I remember ordering this one. I've got no nails, this is not helpful. 
My nails are shocking at the moment, you know. I tried to go on one store, but they're too weak. They don't, they don't go. This is from a kitchen. It's like a metal sign. It says, I can smell autumn dancing in the breeze, the sweet chill of pumpkin and crisp sunburnt leaves, which is really nice. It's like a little poem. Mm. I'm going to put that up in my kitchen. My whole kitchen needs decorating. It's depressing the life out of me because I hate it. But I can't afford to fix it, so I'm just going to have to titivate the kitchen. That's my stuff that's in there. That's up here. Hope you've enjoyed watching. And I won't waffle on anymore because I've got to go and start work and to make myself a cup of tea. So, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know if you liked any of it. What you buy from Teemu. What's been your favourite order from Teemu? I'm always up for new ideas. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. See you soon.